Well, good day all. Just before I uh, start this video, uh, I'd just like to uh, thank all my subscribers. Uh, today we reached 500, so uh, started with nothing and very quickly we've reached 500, so thank you very much. Well, welcome to the Beginner's Guide to Modelling a Wooden Ship, Part 9. This is a Helcon, scale 1 to 100. Presents arrived today. The first one was the uh, spray booth with uh, full um, LED lighting. This uh, was fairly cheap over here. Packs up very nicely. The um, LED lights and the rotary table are separate, but the whole box is quite neat and tidy. The next thing he bought was a uh, silicon mat, which will help with the uh, soldering. And for this night time reading, Micromark catalogue. So I'll be sitting down tonight just going through this and looking at some of the goodies. They're, uh, I could break the bank with this thing. The only problem is it's all from the US, so the postage is rather expensive. It'll take me uh, probably a week to uh, digest all this. So uh, thank you, Micromark. It, uh, it's great to have something to flick through in English, which is very rare over here. I won't go through the whole catalogue, but uh, if you go online, you can see Micromark. So what we're doing today is we're working on the uh, gun turrets. Now here's the holder downer, courtesy of Ron Cavalry. Here it is in use, holding the, one of the uh, faces for the gun carriage. I'm uh, super gluing the first of the uh, part in here. Turn it over and I add the other side. Cheek, that's what I was trying to think of before, their uh, cheeks. Waiting there for the super glue to dry. Change the background here, make it a bit more clearer. We are uh, now going to add the uh, wheels and they're using this small little applicator to uh, just apply a very small amount of glue. Again, via Ron Cavalry. And I'll do his trick of poking. <laughs> Here, Ron. That's got it right. Can use a small applicator to put a, a minimal amount of uh, glue there. I'm sitting here roasting at the moment. It's uh, 34 and a half inside and 37 outside, so it's uh, the air conditioning is not doing too much today. I can't run it while I'm doing these videos. Notice the holes in the wheels are rather, they've got to be filled to represent axles. Again, I'm applying some reinforcing glue. This little applicator is fantastic. It, uh, it's one of the best I've come across. I've tried a few other different things, but that's for the sm small amounts, especially for PE, it's, it's uh, great. It's just a bit of wire, a couple of wire twisted up with an eye on the end. The only thing is you've got to, every now and then, you've got to uh, burn it out to clean it. Uh, now I need a bit more glue this time because what I'm doing is see the little bit of uh, polystyrene 
what I'll do is it's, they're a bit long at the moment but I'll add the glue using this applicator if you can see it's a lot more and then I'll place these uh, little um, bits of polystyrene in the hole a lot easier said than done there's one went missing but I know where it went Now we put it in the hole and trying to locate this out. With my shakes it doesn't make it easier. Give you an idea how small it is. That's a needle on, on the holder down with the hand cut off. Try and re-grab it. It doesn't want to go in that hole. There it goes. Now hold, hold your breath. Now I'll do the other one. There's four of these axles to be added. Hey, there goes another one into the black hole. I'll turn it over and do the other side. Which I'll do off camera. Adding a bit more uh, reinforcing in here to make sure that the, uh, they're in tight. Because I've had a couple pop out. Just allow that to cure. Now they need trimming off, so what I use is um, nail clippers. Can't get any closer, it's focusing on my finger instead of the nail clippers, but uh, I need to hold it. Now they are trimmed off, and I just use a uh, sanding stick to uh, flatten them off. These are great little sanding sticks. There are uh, seven different grades of uh, sandpaper on the uh, one stick. I guess you only go down to about four is enough for this, but it uh, does a great job. Now here's the uh, gun ready to, uh, with the barrel loaded and ready to be painted. And here they are, all painted, ready to go. Thanks for watching. This session was filmed at a Prasat dockyard in Thailand. So please click the like button, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications. So it's cheerio from now. See you next time.